In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Von Duprin Emergency Secure Lockdown Solution. After watching this video, you will be able to check that the opening is ready for ESL, install the mortise cylinder, rehand the tumbler if necessary, install the ESL kit, and test the operation. These are the tools you will need. Please note, the ESL requires a one and a quarter inch mortise cylinder and a straight cam, compression ring, and wave spring, which is not included. The cylinder may be keyed or a thumb turn. See the instructions for more information. Check that the opening is using a 9899 or 33A, 35A series exit device, and that the QEL option is installed and working. The QEL option must be installed and working prior to installing the ESL. Remove the center case cover of the exit device and measure the length of the mechanism case. It must be at least 29 inches in order to accommodate both the ESL and QEL assemblies. Then, reinstall the center case cover. Additionally, ensure that conductors are available to connect the ESL to your access system. Specifically, two available conductors at the exit device coming from the power transfer. Two available conductors on the door side of the power transfer. Two available conductors on the frame side of the power transfer and two available conductors at the power supply or access system hardware. If connecting to the power supply to electrically isolate the ESL from your access system, check the model type of the option board. A 900-2RS option board can work on a single door, but an interposing relay must be used to connect to your alarm or access system. A 900-4R board will work for either a single door or a pair of doors and does not need an interposing relay. If you will connect the ESL directly to your access system, locate an available alarm or auxiliary input connection on your access system hardware. See the documentation from your access system or contact the access system provider for more information. In the box, you will find the ESL assembly and the wire management bracket. Remove the cylinder plug from the key switch assembly on the ESL. Ensure that the cable routing is not disturbed. Place the wave spring over the back of the cylinder, rotating the cam out of the way with the thumb turn or key as needed. Follow with the compression ring and rotate the cam to the inverted position. Remove the two screws securing the cam and remove the cam. Insert the cylinder into the key switch assembly and secure with the cylinder nut. Ensure the long end of the thumb turn points to the indicator or that the cylinder plug is on the end near the wiring. Replace the cam in the inverted position as shown between the two prongs of the key switch assembly. Secure with the two screws. Gently tighten the cylinder nut. Ensure the cylinder operates the key switch by either turning the key or the thumb turn and confirming the cam pushes the tumbler in and out of the lockdown indication. Before starting the installation, disconnect power to the device. On the exit device, remove the two screws securing the end cap and remove the cap. Slide out the mechanism case cover. Compare the mechanism case cover to the ESL assembly. If the links do not match, the ESL mechanism case will need to be cut. Carefully align the covers on a table and use a pencil or marker to mark the cut line on the ESL assembly. Be sure to mark and cut the end opposite the key switch, then cut the cover. Remove any burrs or rough edges with a metal file. 
Inside the mechanism case, disconnect the two pin power connector to the QEL. Slide the wire management bracket into the mechanism case, ensuring proper orientation as shown. Leave a 1 inch space between the end of the bracket and the end of the mechanism case. Hold the ESL assembly in position on the exit device and check that the indicator text is upright. If the text is upside down, the tumbler can be rehanded. Take note of the position of the spring, then gently remove the tumbler assembly from the clips holding it in place. Remove the spring from the tumbler. Rotate the tumbler 180 degrees and replace the spring. Then, reinstall the tumbler, hooking the spring against the outer edge of the clip as shown, and pushing into both clips until it snaps into place. The spring must be in this exact position and on the opposite side of the key switch in order for the tumbler to operate properly. Slide the ESL assembly part way into the mechanism case. Feed the two pin ESL cable behind the wire management bracket as shown. If the wire is not fed behind the bracket, it may interfere with ESL operation. Connect the ESL cable to the QEL cable and tuck the cable and connectors behind the bracket. Slide the ESL assembly into the mechanism case completely. Tuck any extra cable behind the wire management bracket. For the connection to your access control system, Consult the instruction sheet, which contains example wiring diagrams for connecting to a power supply. In this video, the ESL will be connected to a PS900 series power supply with a 900-4R option board. Connect the two red wires from the ESL to the two conductors that terminate on the available input and signal common connections of the 900-4R option board. The instructions show ESL connected to zone 2. Then, confirm that the output on the option board is set to dry. See the 900-4R instructions for more information. Lastly, connect the relay output from the option board to the input of your access system. Please note, you may need to configure your access system software to monitor the ESL. See the Access Control System software or documentation for more information. Connect the power cable to the two-pin connector on the ESL and turn on the power. Turn the ESL so the indicator is not in lockdown. Present a valid credential to the reader and confirm QEL retracts the latch. Then turn the ESL to lockdown position, present a valid credential to the reader, and confirm QEL does not retract the latch bolt. Check your access control system software to confirm the lockdown status change has been reported. To help facility personnel, you may wish to explain that while the ESL is in lockdown, the card reader may still show a valid access, even though the latch does not retract. ESL only switches off the QEL. Other components around the door are not affected. To finish the installation, replace the end cap and secure with two screws. For assistance, contact Customer Care at 877-671-7011.